Hi guys, I have 2016 uh, Disney's Desire Designer uh, Limited Edition Aurora Dell. Uh, now I got her nude off uh, eBay for 57 bucks, so less than you buy on at the store. So I do not have Maleficent. Uh, she is wearing the live-action blue dress. She has dark pink lips, rooted um, eyelashes, and really gelled curls. Um, I do not. I do want to get Disney Parks. Um, that's more classic to the cartoon, but I also like the live-action blue dress uh, from the 2014 movie. It has gold on here, gold on the sleeves, and then lots of gold down here. Um, now here's my 2014 uh, Sing Aura. You twist her hand. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. I know you. The pain in your eyes is so familiar. Um, this one comes with her animal friends in the basket, um, more of her when she was Briar Rose. Well, the two major differences, other than this is the limited edition one now, is that she's more side glancing. And looking to the side, she's more looking forward. Right, sir. And even though she's the limited edition one, I like her better um, because her lips are more of a dark pink, they look red on camera. And so she looks more closer. I mean, they both look close to the cartoon, but I think she looks more closer to the cartoon as far as her face. And she's in a gonna trance, gonna prank her finger. Uh. So yeah, this is my 2016 Aurora. I do like Sleeping Beauty. Um, I say it's one of my favorites that Walt Disney worked on, as far as the old classics. Um, if you don't count movies from that made in the 90s, late 80s and early 90s or in late 90s, as far as movies that Walt Disney worked on how worked on personally Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella and Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan are my favorite. I also like Snow White as well. But as far as princess movies, I say Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty are my favorite as far as the ones that Walt Disney helped and worked on. Um So yeah, this is Sleeping Beauty. Like I said, I do not have, I got her nude, so she does not have the blue dress. 
the, the limited edition wares, but I love this dress. Um, like I said, out of these two auroras, her hair is, was, what did Melissa say, hair is gold as the sun or whatever. Her hair's more gold, I would say, and her lipstick is more closer to the animated movie. And I like the singing version of her as well. But I like her eyes. Like she looks more forward here. And instead of looking to the side like one of the other award bows. And this is my first limited edition um, bow as far as the designer collection goes. As far as the Barbie size version. I have the 17 inch um, wedding Rapunzel, but um, so I got that down before my dad got sick, but um, yeah, this is my first designer doll as far as like the Barbie size versions, um, which I like better because they take up less room. And the larger dolls, and I don't have enough room for those designer um, dolls, the larger ones. So I like to look at the pictures, but I prefer the. It, I like my wedding Rapunzel. Don't get me wrong, but I also own. I do like the smaller versions better because for me, as far as collecting, they're smaller. <laughs> uh, I do have the, uh, today, uh, the Christmas dress came today uh, for my, uh, for my white queen. I'll do a video on that soon. And, um. Uh, yeah, so here is designer Aurora. I know. I didn't. So Aurora needs. I have her, some of her animal friends, but now my Aurora needs Prince Philip and Maleficent. Uh. So yeah. So, who's your favorite Aurora? The singing one or the designer one? I would say the designer one. These are my only two as an adult. These are my only two Aurora dolls. Um, as a kid, I had 91 Mattel version. But as an adult, these are the only two Aurora dolls I have. The designer one and... The singing version of her. Um, once I uh, get the nine, uh, the blue dress from Disney Parks that comes with a pillow, I'll do a review on that in the near future. But yeah, I really do like this, the live action blue dress. I actually like it on the classic or better than I like it on Jack specific or better. I think it suits the classic Aurora. I actually like her rooted eyelashes on 
some of the dolls, I think the real eyelashes designer dolls are just way too long. Like, um, the Princess Jasmine one with, um, uh, Aladdin. I think her eyelashes to me are just a little too long for me. But I like her really eyelashes. It's perfect. Like I said, this has a lot of hairspray and very hairspray gel. Has not been brushed. Her hairspray, I don't think it was as much as the designer one. Her curl kind of got loose and her hair needs to be brushed, but as far as hair goes, let's look at the back of the hair. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to been gloomy these past days in Chicago, but I think that the designer wanted her hair more golden you know, more closer to the cartoon. Um, yeah, I would say out of these two, Aurora Dolls, this one is my favorite. I'll put the link down below. There's um, 107 facts about Sleeping Beauty, which is very fascinating. Um, I know that Princess Aurora in the original Grimm's fairy tale, I think it's Grimm's, it's, it's similar to the Disney version, but more... Uh, um, sadder, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it is a ha does, I guess, have a happy ending in the end. But instead of the prince waking her up, she finds out after she sleeps for a hundred years, she wakes up and finds out she has. I think in some stories that she finds out she has twins. <laughs> after she wakes up. One of the kids suck her thumb or something, or finger her. But, um, it's, the king kind of cheated on his wife, so, um, so that's kind of grim, <laughs> but, uh, I do love the cartoon, the Disney version of the Sleeping Beauty story. And I love the artwork in the 1959 version. So, uh, here is, I also like the Maleficent with Angelina Jolie version as well. And there's going to be a sequel to that. So, not sure whenever that comes out, we'll get more Sleeping Beauty merchandise um, from the Disney store. So, uh, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a magical day.